what are we going to learn today? We're going to learn all about number bonds. Great job. So number bonds is actually a way to do addition and subtraction. It explains the concept of part and whole that we learned in addition and subtraction. Ishan, what was addition? Putting things together and finding the total number of the sum. Exactly. And what is subtraction? Taking away and finding the missing part or the left part. Exactly. So we are number bonds. We are going to see this part and whole concept that we learned in addition and subtraction. It requires a little bit of memorization, but once you know them, addition and subtraction is a piece of cake. So we are going to learn this method of doing addition and subtraction along with other methods. If you are watching this video for the first time, we already have a video on addition and subtraction on our channel. I would suggest going through them first. We have explained the concepts of addition and subtraction thoroughly and we have done various ways to do addition and subtraction. Since this method requires a little bit of you know memorization, just in case you forget the number bond, it's best that you know other methods as well to arrive at this number bond. So let's get started. So number bonds is basically various combinations of two numbers that make up the third. It shows the part whole relationship between the three numbers. One number is the whole and the other two numbers are the parts. These two parts together make up the whole. So let's see this with the help of an example. Let's take an example. Let's study the number bond of 5. Ishan, can you show us various ways how to make 5? Yes. So the first way is 5 is made with 5 and 0. Right. Yes, that's where the multilink cube is just one color. The next way to make 5 is 4 and 1. Yes, and that's why we have two colors of the mathlink cubes. One is red and one is purple. And the last way to make five is three and two. Right, great job. Uh, I wanted to add one thing. Five and zero is also a way to make five because zero is a number. If we add nothing to five, we still get five. And another thing, uh, let's say, take this number bond. One way to make 5 is 4 and 1. Another way to make uh, 5 is 1 and 4. Remember what we learned in addition that it doesn't matter which number we add first. So actually there are 6 ways to make 5. But this is same. So let's, uh, to make it easier, we'll just learn these 3, you know, ways to make 5. Now let's uh, study uh, addition and subtraction with the help of this number bond. Let's see. Say if this, uh, let's take this example, 5 is made up of 3 and 2. Suppose if this whole is missing, how do we find this whole? We add these two parts and get the whole. That's addition. Right. Now let's say if one part is missing, how do we find this part, Ishan? By subtracting. By subtracting. 3 from the, the big number. Exactly. 3 from 5. And that is subtraction. subtraction. So you saw how addition and subtraction became so easy. Number bonds are very important, especially if you want to move on to do addition and subtraction of bigger numbers, especially the number bond of 10. Uh, stay tuned for our video on fact family, wherein I will show you how to derive four addition subtraction sentences from one number bond. Now we are going to be learning the number bonds of the numbers from 5 to 10. One number at a time. Ishan, I'm going to give you these numeral cards. This is the whole and this is the parts. You are going to make various combinations of the numbers with the help of this and then pick up two colors of the math link cubes corresponding to the number bond that you made. Is that okay? That's okay. Let's get started. Let's start with the uh, number bond of 5. Start Ishan. The first way to make 5 is 5 and 0. And 6 is 5 and 0. We're just going to take one color. Right. 
The second way to make five is four and one. And since we have two numbers, we take two colors. Right. Four red and one purple, right? And the third way to make five is three and two. And since it's two color, it's going to be two, I mean three orange and two pink. Great job! Let's do the number bond of six. The first way to make six is six and zero. Here we have six yellow. The second way to make six is five and one. Here we have five red and one green. The third way to make six is four and two. Here we have four brown and two blue. The fourth way to make six is three and three. Here we have three orange and three pink. Great job! Let's do the number bond of seven. The first way to make seven is seven and zero. Here is seven red. The second way to make seven is six and one. Here is six yellow cube and one green cube. The third way to make seven is five and two. Here is five black and two pink. The fourth way to make seven is four and three. Here is four white and three purple. Great job! Let's do the number bond of eight. The first way to make eight is eight and zero. Here we have eight red. The second way to make eight is seven and one. Here we have seven yellow and one green. The third way to make eight is six and two. Here we have six orange and two black. The fourth way to make eight is five and three. Here we have five blue and three purple. The fifth way to make eight is four and four. Here we have four brown and blue. Four white. Five. Great job. Let's do the number bond of nine. The first way to make nine is nine and zero. Here is nine yellow. The second way to make nine is eight and one. Here is eight red and one white. The third way to make nine is seven and two. Here is seven blue and two white. The fourth way to make nine is six and three. Here is six orange and three brown. The fifth way to make nine is five and four. Here is five pink and four purple. Great job! Let's do the number bond of 10. The first way to make 10 is 10 and 0. Here is 10 red. The second way to make 10 is 9 
and one. Here is nine orange and one purple. The third way to make ten is eight and two. Here is eight yellow and two black. The fourth way to make ten is seven and three. Here is seven blue and three white. The fifth way to make ten is six and four. Here is six purple and four pink. The sixth way to make ten is five and five. Here is five green and five black. Great job! Now we are going to be doing addition and subtraction problems using number bonds. Ishan, what is nine minus six? Three. Can you explain using number bonds? Nine is made up of six and three. If I take away six from nine, there's going to be three left. Great job. Ishan, what is 10 minus 9? 1. Can you explain using number bonds? 10 is made up of 9 and 1. If I take away 9 from, away from 10, there's going to be 1 less. Great job! Ishan, what is 5 plus 5? 10. Can you explain using number bonds? 5 and 5 is the number bond of 10. Yes, great job! Ishan has nine rocks. He throws away seven. How many rocks does he have left? Two. Let's do this with the help of number bonds. Ishan has how many rocks? Nine. That's the total. How many rocks did he throw away? Seven. That's it? Part. How many rocks does he have left? That's the Missing part. Missing part. That means it's a subtraction problem. Do you remember the number one of nine? Nine is made up of seven and two. So the answer is two. Can you tell me the subtraction number sentence? Nine minus seven equals two. Great job. Ishan gave five chocolates to his friend. He has four left now. How many chocolates did he have at first? Nine. Let's do this with the help of number bonds. Ishan gave away how many chocolates to his friend? Five. Did he give away all or a part? A part. Okay. He has how many left now? Four. That's another? Another part. We need to find out how many did he have at first. That means we need to find the? Total number. Exactly. That means it's a? Addition problem. Do you remember? 5 and 4 make the number bond of which number? 9. Great job. And what is the addition number sentence? 5 plus 4 equals 9. Great job. There are 6 slices of pizza. Ishan ate some. Now 2 slices are left. How many did Ishan eat? 4. Okay. Let's do this with the help of number bonds. How many slices of pizza do we have? 6. That's the? Total number. Okay, Ishan ate, uh, ate some pizza. Did he eat all or some? A some. Okay, right. And how many slices of pizza are left now? Two. So we need to find the missing number. So this is a? Subtraction problem. Do you remember the number bond of six? Yeah. Six is made up of? Two and four. Yes, so four is the answer. Can you tell me the subtraction number sentence? Six minus two equals four. Great job. Ishan bought 10 cupcakes. He put 4 of them on a plate. He put the rest in a box. How many cupcakes are in the box? 6. Let's do this with the help of number bonds. How many cupcakes did Ishan bring? 10. That's the? Total number. Okay. He put some on the plate. How many did he put on the plate? 4. That's it? Heart. He put the rest in a box. That's the? Missing part. That means it's a subtraction problem. Do you remember the number bond of 10? Yes. 10 is made of 4 and 6. Therefore, 6 is the answer. Can you tell me the subtraction number sentence? 10 minus 
four equals six. Great job! The number one, the fifty, is twenty. And Turkey, click the red button and subscribe to get more videos from us. If you like this video, do not forget to like this video on YouTube and do leave us a comment below. Stay tuned for our next set of videos in the math series coming up on math facts, fact family and addition and subtraction of larger numbers. But next week, we have a surprise video coming in wherein we'll be doing mental maths. We'll be doing addition and subtraction of even two digit numbers without pen and paper. Are you excited, Ishan? Yeah. So stay tuned. Till then, thank you and goodbye.